one minute. Mr. Speaker, I had the privilege of last Sunday to be an observer in Puerto Rico for the plebiscite and watch the people of Puerto Rico make the decision they'd like to be the 51st state. I think it's time for this Congress to make our 3,400,000 American citizens part of the United States in full grandeur as every one of us have the chance of making sure we can vote for everyone and be part of us. I think it's time America should stop colonizing. If I'm not mistaken, this is the first, I mean, the last nation that has a colony. The great America, the United States, has a colony. And I think it's time that we change that. Vote in Congress, make sure that we have the 51st state. Gladly. I want to join uh, my friend who has been such a great leader in dealing with uh, those who have associations with our country but are not uh, states. Uh, I join with his remarks. The Puerto Rican election that was held overwhelmingly voted uh, for statehood as the option of governance they wanted to pursue. Uh, it is now, uh, it seems to me, uh, the responsibility of the United States Congress and the administration to recognize the overwhelming sentiment of the Puerto Rican people expressed in a free and open election. Uh, it is now, uh, it seems to me, uh, the responsibility of the United States Congress and the administration to recognize the overwhelming sentiment of the Puerto Rican people. But again, I believe in this so strongly that we treat every American equally. This is a civil rights issue, and they have voted 97 percent in favor of statehood. So I think it's time for this Congress. You know, I led this battle with your help in uh, 1997. We had a vote, and with your side, I won by one vote. A Puerto Rico lost, it didn't go anywhere. But I like, let, ask every Amer American to think about it. Let's make this the last colony. Let's make this the 51st state. And I do thank you, and thanks for you, Lee. Thank you, my friend.